Lots of the discussion uh, about the pos possible Medicaid expansion has been focused on the savings to the state through, uh, through reduced government spending, reduced state general purpose revenue going towards health spending. In addition, uh, there would be funds provided by the federal government, uh, which would go towards increased medical spending. Altogether, as we see in the, in the chart here, that would total about $545 million. So that includes, again, both the, the direct expenses by, by the federal government and the re increased reimbursement by the state. On the other hand, though, if we look at the costs, our estimate of the costs uh, adjusted for inflation comes out to over $1.1 billion per year. So the, the total of $545 million that we would be getting from the federal government would then be shifted, lead to increased costs for private households of over $1.1 billion. So if we look at then the net costs or the net uh, costs or benefits, we find that the cost to the state would be roughly $600 million per year. So although all the focus has only been on the, the savings to the state through the, increased, uh, through the increased federal revenues, this would represent a substantial shifting of costs onto households.